This week, Big4.com brings you KPMG's findings that social media rules likely to change, Accenture being cautious as world economy remains stagnant, Ernst & Young's forecast that Eurozone H1 2012 recession looking increasingly likely, integration of Bearing Point Abacus Da Vinci software into SAP solutions, PricewaterhouseCoopers noting that borrowers' woes could be increased by mortgage market review and recognition for Deloitte for business continuity management. Each week, Big4.com covers key news, events, happenings, opinions, and blogs relating to all the Big4 accounting and consulting firms. You can view this video on our website and on Big4.com's channel on YouTube. So let's start with this week's roundup of the top news. According to one expert, UK organizations must adopt changes to boost performance in 2012 as far as social media is concerned. Mark Gwinnebert, customer and channel partner at KPMG, has focused on the need to build better relationships with increasingly savvy consumers. He sees 2012 as a year in which the lines drawn between consumer and corporate use of social media will become blurred. He feels it is naive to think that social media has no place in the business world and that transparency will become the norm. Wide-scale debate will replace command and control, and the rules of the game will change as a result. Accenture announced strong quarterly earnings last week, although the company's executives are concerned about the state of the economy. The company has forecast revenue of $6.5 to $6.8 billion for the second quarter. In addition, forecasters cut their earnings estimate for the fiscal year by $0.04 cents per share to $3.76 to $3.84 per share due to anticipated fluctuations in foreign exchange rates. This forecast reflected a number of concerns in the global economy. The debt crisis in the Eurozone remains the biggest worry, as is the slow economy in the United States. Mark Audi, Ernst & Young Area Manager Partner for Europe, Middle East, India and Africa, spoke recently about the uncertainty facing the Eurozone economy, noting that the uncertainties hanging over the Eurozone can only continue to dampen the enthusiasm for European companies to make long-term investment and recruitment decisions. The fundamental challenge for Europe are ways to grow above historical trends, to pay off debt and learn to live within its means going forward. Banking sector liquidity is another major concern across the Eurozone, as bank lending remains tight as they restructure their balance sheets and reduce exposure to riskier sectors and countries. And here are the latest jobs from the Big Four Job Board. See the site for more details. Point's Abacus Da Vinci standard software will be integrated into SAP's Bank Analyzer and will be available under the name IRR, International Regulatory Reporting, through Bearing Point. Using IRR, financial institutions can for the first time use a holistic software solution, which is based on German statutory duty of disclosure, as well as on bank-wide management of the process of calculating, evaluating, and analyzing financial products on an SAP platform. The publication of the Financial Services Authorities FSA, Mortgage Market Review is a more proportionate set of proposals compared to the first version of the Mortgage Market Review. This according to David Kenmere, Financial Services Regulatory Partner at PricewaterhouseCoopers. He went on to say that the FSA's proposals may make it harder for some people to borrow in the future, but the Mortgage Market Review is only one part of the puzzle. He also said the aggregated impact of Basel III, the need for banks to deleverage their balance sheets, and the ongoing financial economic crisis are likely to have more of an impact on future borrowing and lending. Forrester Research Incorporated, an independent technology and market research company, recently announced that Deloitte member firms were recognized as having one of the most holistic approaches to business continuity management. The Forrester profile highlights Deloitte's broad enterprise resiliency methodology and calls out key examples of framework, such as Total Asset Protection and BEF3 of Deloitte's business continuity management capability. The report also notes Deloitte's strong testing, certification, and staff expertise. Additionally, the Forrester report acknowledges Deloitte's capabilities in program reporting, dashboarding, and metrics as differentiators in the marketplace. 
This has been Melissa with your Big Four Weekly News. I'll see you next time.